I soak my essence in the morning tree, marinating the gray shed of my soul, scarcely hanging on against gravity, within the bonding sticky residue affixed to free muffins of the hotel, attached to the argument of last night. Awareness blinks in shadows and footprints, with mentality from the trails of tears. As the breakfast lady sweeps fallen food over minimum wages on her face, while hearing early morning baby cries, echoing in the squeak on tile floors. The glass door strikes the surface on tables of mirror images of fast pickups, seeing the excessive speed of raindrops, moving by the dark force of gravity, like the forcing downward days of my age. I swallow the orange of gratitude, containing sensational nature juice, skillful of producing vegetation in a redeemed state of deliverance within one more eternal truth moment, causing its rotation in my stomach. I see higher ground climbing the surface, as breakfast is the phase of stagnation, like nonviolent smooth sailing on calm seas, forecasting a calm day after heavy rain, in a situation of complete peace, free from civil disturbance in my mind. The day is not impaired for functioning, as the rain is a deep, fulfilling roar, while its drops are affected by cloud tides, moving away from my confrontation, motioning its retreat, then advances towards my accosting mind thematically. My day, like astronomical bodies, in the composition of my breakfast, positioned between raindrops with no sickness, sticking without disembodied voices with the soft interplanetary probes in memories of femininity. I take off chains of my reservations, outside pattern framework of assumptions, while bending pancakes to make them compact by the oceanic realm of syrup, volcanic like mythical womanhood, immense like the depth of the open sea. I see a fatigued farm in my pancakes as syrup runs down a barren dirt hill, then climbing atop the Eiffel Tower, or picking flowers at pleasing Versailles, then seeing master paintings in the Louvre, or reaching the vivid Parisian sky. I know the vocal organs of arches, used in the musical sounds of women, that boated on the ocean of reason, then the audible vibrations of seas, regulating the tones of ancient sights, with women producing desired sounds. My pancakes open its composition, past the treasured vibrations of King Tut, as the morning is like Cairo through haze, obstructing the view of my mental state, disoriented within the casbah, wandering among its obscuring maze. Clouds are suspended in the atmosphere, harmless in its chastity and tension, causing the sinless rain of innocence with its sexual inexperience, inviting rain by sexual organs, dropping its orgasm onto the earth. My pancake mind sits in the restaurant, with preservation of nothing behind, showing affection in my mouth corners, in pouring batter through loving smiles, parallel to the wet grounded morning, producing compassion for light of day. My mouth is solid when pressed by pancakes, fixed securely with determination, as religious as London in the rain, or walking the limestone of Bethlehem, as the characteristic pancake taste tours the world of distinctive syrup taste. My pancakes have special phrases and rhymes, with symmetry in taste interactions, and its firm quantum memories found there, like magic 
masterpieces of Rembrandt, or lured she who fell asleep on my arms, leaving me to rest allured eyes on her. It has been ages since pancakes tempted, with enticement and my charm unguarded, solid as it grips the earth with both hands, inviting me to loss of gravity, where the rain chomps like the snaps of a jaw, fleeting with foolish, brutal desires. My syrupy tongue lies here satisfied, as my saccharine eyes feel soft with her, with fresh red strands of hair framing her face, pure as delicate small hands rewarding the stone on her melodious finger, not lasting diamond symbolic meanings. I have known stormy days coarse in texture, where rough rain washed the ground with art sketches of relationships loving then fighting through a spectrum of colors like rainbows, where its white crystal wetness is entrapped, flickering in the corner of an eye. I have known the properties of crystals, where internal patterned atoms back up, like domestic crystalline substance located in my internal organs, with boulders geometrically arranged to leave its polished paint strokes beautiful. Pancakes and diamonds signify promise, made to another sparkle long ago, dissolved in candy and water by time, reminding of destiny and straight days. Never forgetting the rain boiled down, boiled down like rainwater plucked feathers. These pancakes are momentary sting, as the rain spindles like yarn being wound, like the sharp hollow spine of winded thread, watching the stiff feathers of a winged bird, charming me with greased flat pan devotion, and beguiles rain flight to start the day. <laughs>